Hey guys and gals, it is the Cannabis Crone. I am here in my studio. I was just out walking with Dude, but I didn't take any video because it's the first time that he's been walking around since his uh, neutering. So, But it was nice. It was nice to get outdoors. And actually, it was the first time I'd been out since the 10th because I messed my knee up playing on the ice like a fool. But what, what can you do? The day that I can't play on the ice anymore is the day that I decide that it's done. I'm done with this world because I still have to be able to uh, move around and have fun. Anyway, it's 420 and uh, I would be remiss if I didn't do a toast with you guys. So uh, if you're watching this, take your implement. If you have your pipe or whatever else you're doing, dabs or uh, vaping, I, of course... Every 420, I take her. I take her out more than that, but she is uh, m my favorite bong of all. I call her my Van Gogh because uh, the colors kind of remind me of Starry Night. But anyway, and I usually try and uh, my little glass pipes, as you can see, I, I try and I I like that style for some reason. It's kind of like a carnival glass or something. But anyway, um, but the reason that I celebrate 420 is, um, and I'll post some links down there of different research that I've been finding. Um, and two, uh, most of the studies over at Hebrew University um, in Jerusalem have been, uh, have had their peers review it as well. And then there is another study about uh, a company that is getting a grant for more cannabinoid research, and they've already been peer reviewed, reviewed, which is why they got the grant because you have to be peer reviewed in order to be able to get money for uh, research and funding. So, um, anyway, so check out those links. Um, and as always, if you can incorporate cannabis into your healing, whether you have autoimmune disorders, whether you're dealing with cancer um, or chronic pain or inflammation of any kind, because THC is, uh, that's one of the main things besides giving you, you know, the uh, kind of the psychedelic feel. THC also is a major anti-inflammatory. Um, one of the studies that they did over at Hebrew University, which, you know, you have a link down there for, uh, was about um, CBD and how it improves bone density. Uh, that's pretty incredible. You never hear that kind of stuff over here in America, do you? Because Big Pharma doesn't want you to know about that. But if you're suffering from osteoporosis, you should be taking uh, cannabidiol oil. Um, there, there's all sorts of ways that you can take it where you don't have to smoke it if you indeed do not wish to smoke it. So, um, But anyway, a toast to all of the healing that this wonderful plant can do. And not only that, but once it's legal, it will be able to help save our environment as well. Because by using hemp in agricultural farming uh, to rotate crops, by using hemp to replace all wood products, you'll be saving forests. Um, it will have such a major societal impact once cannabis is federally legal. So let us raise our implements. Happy 420. Feel that one? So, I hope everyone has a beautiful, blessed day. Partake, light them up if you got them, and don't forget, microdosing with cannabis on a daily basis can help you get all of the health benefits and it'll build up your tolerance so that, you know, you won't be under the influence. You'll be able to microdose on a daily basis with small amounts and get your stuff done. And then if you want to reap the benefits of the relaxing part of it, you know, you can always add a little bit more at the end of the evening. Take a bong hit, smoke a bowl, or whatever. So... Um, I hope everyone has a blessed 420, and don't forget to check out those links. There's a lot of research out there. It is not a drug. It is a medicine. Namaste.